got Savivi in the house. Savivi. Blue Tick. The Blue Tick. And this is coming out April 9th is the release date that, that I know, okay, that I've been told. So April 9th. So this video should be on my channel April 9th or later, a little later maybe. Um, but this is a collaborative design right here, okay? And who's the designer? It's Montalvo, Brian Montalvo. Now, apparently he's the Keenison Knives guy, okay? Austin, Texas, this and that, okay? So this is an iconic design, including the Stray and Alpha, but the blue tick, it stands out on its first, as it's uh, his first award-winning design from Blaze Show Texas 2023. So this is blue tick. Okay, blue tick, blue tick. And that's what it says on the box too. Okay, this is 10th anniversary thing for Civivi. So you order up and take a look. I'll give you the, the link below. And so you can take a look and see what you get on the Civivi side. Uh, you get these coins. I got this coin, okay? So on one side, the little Savivi things, made better since 2014. This thing is We Knives on this side, blah, 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 10th anniversary, etc. And I believe that you get like a 10th anniversary t-shirt if you spend over a certain amount of money. And I think it's 99 bucks, but I can't remember right now. So the link is below. And then also I'll give you a link to White Mountain Knives where if you can... Maybe get this knife minus 10% discount. LTK is your discount code for that as well. And they should, authorized reps should have these, these things available as well for giveaway, whatever. Okay, so there's that. And this one is the blue tick. So it's not a small knife. And oh, by the way, the star flare is also coming out same time. Same time together, right? Star Flare, a little smaller knife, like uh, under eight inches, okay? And about 3.35 inch blade, that kind of thing. Button lock, aluminum, nitro V, okay? This one's 14C, okay? 14C 28N. This is micarta, and you can get them in different colors. I think you can get snow wash, you can get uh, maybe some G10, other colors, micarta, et cetera, et cetera. So that's what this is all about. But this is a bigger knife. Bigger knife. And how much bigger? Three and a half inch blade. All day long, right? At 90 millimeters. And then all the way out to 8.125 or 8 and, a, eight and a eighth an inch overall length. And it's uh, 20 and a half centimeters. Okay. So we got that. And how fat is it in your hand? And let's try and figure that out. And 12.2, so not bad. 0.48, pretty slender in the hand, and probably under three millimeter blade stock, pretty close to three at 0.11, 2.9 or 3.0, however you want to call that, right? And will the knife be a knife, right? And you know what? That one will be a knife. That's really sharp. That's got a good edge on it from the factory. So and here's what it says on the box in case I just probably showed you that and <laughs> forgot it's been three seconds okay get out of here okay let's get over here and then we got all okay, we got that plastic of course the knife goes in and then we've got microfiber cloth and a little bit of ditty of them bragging up on their awards stuff you know we win awards and then um uh stickers like thank you 10th anniversary and a little uh yeah, elementum type thing in there. Okay, so zipper pouch, cram full of stuff. You might be able to fit your knife in there. Who knows? Um, and there it is. So it's nice, it protects it, all that kind of stuff. But here it is. And can Mr. Sausage Fingers, yeah, it works good for me. For you, I don't know. Frankly, I don't care. As long as it works for me, it's all about me. Right. Okay. Just wanted to let you know that. 
Oh, God. Okay, let's straighten ourselves out here. Okay, we're good. Ooh, that, you know what? It feels light. It's got good balance to it, actually. Let's go here. Wow, 3.16. You know, for an eight, oh, a little over eight inches and at least a three and a half inch blade, that's light, isn't it? 3.16. 89.5 grams. That is pretty light. It cuts. Um, I'm not sure what this is going, what these whoop de doos are. Wow. Wow. That's rugged stuff right there, isn't it? Um, you know, and the cutaway comes here. It's not like a U-shaped thing, but it comes here and bam, slam right into the flipper tab there. So you can climb up on it. It's okay. It's very usable and comes up here. Okay, so you can get up here for a little bit more control on the blade and or, you know, you can slide your finger under there for a lot more control on the blade for finer work and then you got this wedge running down here kind of reinforces this area and that's nice too okay so uh okay and it's a liner lock and you got jimping on the liner so you can just let it go like this right okay now it's not guillotine drop shutty thing and it may, after I take it apart, put it back together. I don't know. But for right now, this is what she is right here. Okay. And, of course, there's no cutaways or anything. We can I, I can still make enough contact with the blade here because there's enough of it showing that I can finger flick it right out of the detent, which bears the question, how's that detent? Okay. Um, it's a, it's, it's on the lighter side of medium. You know what I'm saying? Because usually if I can flick a blade out like this without having to do this, I mean, that will get it out. Okay. Usually, but this many times will not for me, but if you can do that, then it's a little on the lighter side. Okay, can I make this? Oh, that's a very muted flipper tab that's also jimped. Yeah, I can fail it. Okay, so it's not a... That detent's not like ultra holding. And you could have made this a little bit stronger detent because the only way you're going to open it is flipper tab, right? And you can kind of push button that as well. Although, you know, as far as I'm concerned, I'm fine with the detent. I'm okay with it. But if you want something that's a little bit more um, insistent in kind of hold, 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 and, and a no-fail flipper, this is not the one. Although this one is easy for a lazy flip, you know, and then also, it wouldn't be so easy to do this if it wasn't as light a detent. Now, I don't think you're going to have to worry about this accidentally coming open in your pocket, right? But it's just that it's not, you know, on a 1 to 10, 10 being the toughest detent or impossible. And usually if something's in the 6, 6.5, that's a pretty stiff detent. So this is probably a 3.9, 4.2, you know, it's there. It's not stupid, uh, easy, but it, I, I think it's okay. I think it's uh, in the range of okay. So there we are with this. I mean, um, the ergos work for me. Reverse grip feels good. Uh, the pocket clip, not so much. See, and we're going like this, but we're not leveling out here. And it's, ah, where's my, is this got a stupid pocket clip on it too? Where's my, where's my Maximet one? Oh, I took off with that somewhere else. Okay. Ah, let me see if I got something on here that make, nah, that doesn't make sense either. But see, like this kind of Lynch-ish clip, but comes down, goes up, and then it flattens out at the end. It's a little tougher to feel that. 
I think I got my original clip in the box. God, I hope so. But yeah, um, but this one is straight up. Um, it looks like it's starting to turn right there. But I mean, I can feel it hitting me right in here. And after a while, it's not going to be as comfortable for short term cutting stuff. I think it would be okay and it wouldn't bother you long term. It might. Okay. Depending on my cutting tests usually don't involve just a lot of lengthy sessions. So this will be fine for me, but I just wanted to let you know, this is, this could be kind of a, a little bit of an issue there. Okay. Just saying. Okay. But no, uh, it's lightweight. Um, it is, nice it, it you know disengages fine okay it's just not super drop shutty no uh you might be able to adjust it to be so it's centered not a problem there no blade play no lock rock there's your lock up that's pretty sturdy that's 35 to 40 percent lock up on that right and of course nested liners okay so i mean yeah, um, ceramic bearings on the pivot, that kind of thing. And uh, yeah, so I think we're good. I, I mean, I think we're good. Here's the inflammation on this. Now, 67, but um, you might, if you could get that like White Mountain for 67, 10% off LTK discount code. Okay, so 61. I mean, I think that's pretty reasonable. Okay, uh, as far as that goes. So there's that. And there's your, you know, pause and read again. Did I say, I said pause and serve the other day. <laughs> Holy crap. But 3.1 ounces. Wow. Pause and serve. I'm thinking about my coffee pot now, right? Nested liners, all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, I think we're good. Um, this, this design... Uh, I've seen Kenison designs and I, you know, this one is, is that strange? Uh, this, this wouldn't be the one I'd pick of his group. Right. But okay. I mean, this is one that will probably appeal to a lot of guys though. I'm thinking this is unique here and, uh, the blade shape is very usable and it's almost got a little bit of that trailing edge kind of you know, Middle Eastern, you know, styling type thing to it, all in, right? Slender handle, all that kind of thing. It's definitely lightweight. Should be super easy to carry. So let's think about throwing this baby on the mat and seeing. And it should be like number eights on the body and stuff. So we've got the Savivi thing and that logo sits down in in that because it's got a little tab underneath that locks it in place so and it centers it so we're good there and then these are number eights okay so we're going with that and once Savivi kind of got locked into using number eights they haven't backed off of that it's just the pocket clips have stayed you know as number sixes and let's roll this one too and we can pull the pocket clip off let me see what we got well we got one longer than the other because one's going through this backspacer here which i didn't really talk about did i okay so there's the backspacer i guess that must be g10 that's all i'm all i'm thinking is that must be a g10 thing here's the liner by the way and here's your um you know lock side and of course it's nested in here, okay? And so, let me see what we can, if we can just pop this off or how easy that's gonna be to accomplish. Sometimes they hang on pretty good. This one's off and it's got a, a ceramic detent ball. A little bit kind of way relieving in here, skeletonized, skeletonized. Did, did. And then, yeah, ceramic bearings. Let's get out of here. Come on. Okay, there we go. Looks clean, though. 
Uh, so Vivi's got a good, they're, they're good quality knives. And this one, yeah, it's got the, the stop built in. Okay. And then, of course, it runs the track here and stops here and here. And then you got, yeah, that looks like a G10 backspacer. Okay. Um, and my Carter scales. And then here you got this little bump that's machined on there. So that your little Civivi cap will mate up with it right there. So you're good. And that was real easy to take apart. That's your disassembly. And the 10th anniversary of Sabibi Wee Knives. And we got the blue tick. The blue tick. What do you think? Is this something for you? It's lightweight. It's full size. It's sharp. The blade shape will work for a lot of different cutting tasks. And you can finger flick it right off the side of the blade. But it's easy to flick here, and at least this is not a huge sail sticking up in the air. And it kicks, and you can almost really push button the dog as well. So there she be, my friends. April 9th, the release date, and then you got it. We love them knives. So you guys, stay sharp.